All right, so the other day I was at a Chipotle, which is a, a food establishment that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. Um, I'm not one for much foreign food, I'll be honest, but I do enjoy myself some Chipotle, I'll be honest with you. I, I like getting some rice, some beans, any kind of meat they've got. You know, the, the meat there is specifically is pretty damn good. If you ask me, I like getting them bowls, tacos, burritos, all that stuff. It, 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 it's a pretty fine establishment, right? But the other day, I didn't have the best experience. And this had nothing to do with the staff, the food, the workers, managers, none of that. It had to do with one of my fellow patrons that was at the store. Now, let me try to explain a little bit, right? So, uh, the, the worker there said... Hey, what what rice? What kind of rice would you like? And uh, I said, I think some brown rice will be fine, thank you. They said, uh, okay, and what kind of beans? And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll take some pinto this time, right? And then they said, and your choice of meat. And I was like, you know, I'm feeling chicken today. If I could get some chicken, that'd be mighty fine, thank you. And this this gentleman next to me, kind of grimished, and in a kind of an a, a, exasperated kind of manner just goes uh. so I look over and I'm like is there something seems to be the problem sir um are, do we have a problem here are you okay and he just said no it's just that I he had a very feminine voice right he, he was like no it's just that I I'm a vegan and uh I I just don't approve of eating meat so I'm sure that you've heard of the age-old joke of how do you know if someone is a vegan? Don't worry, they've already told you. And this was this way of this fine gentleman basically telling me that he was in fact a vegan. So I decided to have a little fun. You know, I, normally I just let it go by the wayside and I go about my day. But, you know, today I was feeling particularly witty. And so I was thinking, you know, let's have some fun, right? So, I noticed that he had a little lanyard, you know, dangling around his neck. And at the end of that lanyard, it appeared to be some car keys. And I said, okay, okay. So, uh, I looked to the employee and I said, ma'am, if you could excuse me for just one second. Um, and I looked over to this fine gentleman and I said, hey, um, I noticed you got some car keys there. You drive often? And he said, he said, yeah. And I said, that's great, that's great. You take the freeway often and you go on the highway every now and then? He said, yeah, all the time. And I said, okay, okay. Um, don't you think that it's a little, a little inhumane, right? Because most vegans don't even don't even eat honey because it comes from the byproduct, the offspring, scheme and jizz thing of uh, the, the bees, you know? It comes from bees, and that, that's, you know, that's, another, uh, that's another species, another animal. And we shouldn't be having byproducts of such. And, but... They're, they're willing to drive 65, 70, 70 miles an hour on the freeway and to kill a whole horde of innocent bugs that are on the road just trying to live their life. Don't you? And I, I looked at him. I said, don't you think it's a little inhumane for you to do so? And he said, he, he said in his little feminine voice, he said, hey, that's not the same. You shouldn't be comparing that. I said, well, then you can go ahead and you can mind your own damn business. Okay, I don't care what you consume, put in your body. I don't think it's right for you to judge what I put in my body. Okay, I'm at, a, I'm at an establishment here. Everyone else is eating the same thing. All right, you need to get with the program. And and then I looked at the the, the employee, and I and I, I kindly asked her, I said, you know what, can you make that a double chicken? And the entire Chipotle just went crazy. I, I said, mic drop. And the, 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 the fine gentleman that was to my left, uh, it appeared as if he was crying. He, he ran home because I think he had so much guilt from what I had said. And uh, I think he may, and I'm not sure, but I think he may have killed himself later that night. And, uh, well, that's, that's a true story. So I, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you're going to want to stay chocked. Uh, before we're doing that, uh, dislike the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, that, that's all. For, that's all for tonight, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.